times. Six, all for being drunk and disorderly. Have you ever gone past a guard barracks? When are they not drunk and disorderly? What kind of a stupid fine is that? Well, Aldous couldn't pay the last two fines, so they seized his home and threw him into the street until he could pay it. Bastards! The Count, he could care less about our plight. As long as the roast suckling pig is delivered to his feast table, he's as happy as can be. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Well, there's one man who seems to care. Garrus Dorelian, the second in command of the guard. I hear he isn't happy with Ulrich. I don't know what you can do for us in this situation. I mean, Ulrich is a captain after all. Perhaps you could speak to Garrus. You can find him roaming the county hall of the castle most of the time. Yeah. Garrus may be our only hope. About, um, the Count. A certain NPC in this, in this town has some very interesting things to say about him, so... Let's go meet Good him, evening. shall we? I think... It's open. Okay. Okay. You, entertain me. Books. I sell books. Go ahead. Look. Buy some. Chaitenhall. Imperials hate Dark Elves. Dark Elves hate Imperials. Imperials hate that a no-name Lalu trader got made into a count. Is that how you pronounce it? Andal Indoris doesn't help his case by having a prat for a son and a wife that dies in very suspicious circumstances. Our Dark Elves left Morrowind to get away from the church and state, and they don't like it when Imperials get all holy and patriotic with them. Of course, local Dark Elves tend to be money-grubbing, alcoholic lowbrows with little education or culture. Since I read a lot and speak well and don't drink brandy from milk pails, I guess I qualify as an Imperial. But on the whole, I like Shaden Hall's Dark Elves better than I like the Imperials. So, go figure. Farewell. Some of those lines are funny. Now, back to the matter at hand. We should go finish this quest. Because I can. And because it's. I actually have a reason to do so. And not wait 25 levels first. Ugh. Let's just see. And it doesn't work. Yes? So, if you'll give me a second... What do you want? Your head. I can't say I'm prepared to speak to you about... Ah, uh, yes. Goodbye. Yoink! <laughs> what do you want? I can't say... <whistles> I'm listening. That guy's good. Goodbye. What do you want? Go ahead. This is gonna be annoying. Let's see. That's Yes. Yes, whatever you say. Don't please I'm don't What a dumb joke. That's well don't try to manip well you think I am manipulating funny. you. What a don't that works for me. It appears you've spoken to Lavana. I know she sounds a bit like a raving madwoman, but she isn't far from the truth. Ulrich is definitely up to something. Every day, we take in exorbitant fines from the people. Where most of the money goes, I have a good idea. Ulrich keeps his quarters locked, but I've glimpsed inside. The things he has in there could never be purchased on a captain's salary. At first, I thought maybe he was from wealthy stock, but many of the goods have been delivered recently. I'd love to bring him to task in front of Count Indaris, but I dare not without a solid witness that will speak against him. Honestly, she's never done anything to be fined or get in trouble. Yet. 
The person I'd love to bring in as a witness is Aldo's Arthurin. Why him? That is, if we could sober him up for five minutes. Why him? I haven't approached him myself, as Ulrich has eyes everywhere. However, he doesn't know you well enough yet to suspect anything. If you want to help, you need to get Aldo's to agree to become a witness. Nothing else can be done. Ugh, fine. You must locate Aldo's. He's a danger to himself and others in his condition. He's a freaking drunk. Okay, let's talk to him. Let's talk to the town drunk so he can testify against this man. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. What do you have to say? Get out of my way before I have you slapped in irons. How lovely. We could kill him ourselves, but... Yeah. That's a bit difficult at this point. And by a bit difficult, I mean it's a suicide mission. So let's try to find a town drunk with our magic compass. And there he is. Yo, town drunk. Who are you? Ha! That stupid swit! Throw me out of my home, will he? I'll show him a thing or two about messing with an Othran. All I did was fall down, sure. Maybe even vomited on the floor of the tavern. Charge me six times, Ulrich. Charge me, you fetcher. Well, I'm not standing for this anymore. You come with me and I'll show you what the Othrans can do when their backs are to the wall. Yes. Show me what the mighty Othrans can do. I'll have that you guys later. When I can cast Springstep Spell. Stand clear. Um This is my house. Get out of the way. Move, I say. Sir, this property has been seized by his lordship, the Count of Chadenhall. Leave immediately. I said move, or by my ancestors, I'll put you on the ground with a split lip. Sir, I must warn you that threatening a city guardsman is an offense punishable by a fine of no less than fifty gold. Pay, or be jailed. You swit! How dare you! Ulrich be damned! He can take his fine and stuff it up his backside. You've been warned. You're now under arrest. Please, come with me. I'll go nowhere with you, Fetcher. Nowhere. I oh. fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. The mighty Offran. What was he thinking? Iron dagger against a guard? He didn't even get an attack and what a Move along, citizen. You saw what happened? I had no choice. Aldous attacked first, and I had to defend myself. If you don't like it, take it up with Ulrich. You could have tried using your shield. Move along, please. I mean, seriously. Ugh, never mind. Uh, yada yada yada. Yeah, for that I should wait. Uh, what are you, who are you and what are you doing there? What the hell are you doing? Hi! I am Naspia Cosma, Shadenhall Steward. I offer introductory training with blades and may condescend to accept you as a student. To be frank, I prefer a career in the arena to this paper pusher's position. Farewell. You know what? We're just gonna wait. Twelve hours, please. Thank you. Okay. 
Do I have enough Veracity XP? Should have checked this earlier. I do. Is something amiss? You have an ashen look on your face that tells me so. Really? I, uh... Hmm. If you say so. What's wrong? The guy's dead. Oh, no. They killed him? I can't believe this. Ever since his wife passed at the hands of the bandits, his life has been miserable. I'd grown to become fond of him. I wanted to take him into my house, but I was afraid. And now look what's become of him. There are no more options left. Ulrich must be dealt with, and actions speak louder than words. You must do something for me. Go tell Ulrich that I have some information that incriminates him. Tell him to come alone, or he won't get it. Then lead him here, and I'll do the rest. <laughs> Ulrich will not buy his way out of this one. He'll pay, I promise you. Your neck is not on your on the rest of your body correctly. Whatever. What she'll do is she'll cast a, a paralysis spell, which again is not impossible to cast unless you're an expert in illusion or higher. And she'll cast it again in a way that only a demigod could cast it. I swear, NPCs in this game are ridiculously powerful. <sighs> Good to see you. You. We must put an end to this travesty of justice. How enlightening. Uh, you. What are you looking? Nope. That. Aldos will be mourned. I... Nope. That. Levana has always been quick-tempered. You must reconsider her plan. It can only lead to prison for her and for you. For her alone. I swear that Ulrich will pay for this. We must handle this carefully and prove to the Count that he needs to be arrested. Ulrich has been watching me, so I haven't been able to enact a plan I devised to bring him down. That ends today, now that you are here. Really? The evidence we need to incriminate Ulrich must lie within his quarters. You must sneak in there and retrieve it without being seen. If you're caught, there isn't anything I can do to help you. Just be careful. Well, that's easy. Aldos's death is indeed a tragedy. We'll do what we can to put his soul at ease. He even gave me the frickin' key. I am going to do this the quote-unquote good way, because fame point, money, why not? 